One bedroom or one BR uh, is a brand new 2020 horror thriller uh, from a first time director. And this is about a young woman named Sarah who moves into an apartment, obviously, a one bedroom apartment. And she's starting to think she hears noises at night that aren't letting her sleep. And she's struggling at work because she can't stand up for herself. She has a very tumultuous relationship with her father because of something he had done in the past. And so she doesn't really know what she's doing in her life at this moment, but she's just kind of trying to figure it out. But then something happens while she's living there that changes absolutely everything. Um, it's hard to talk about anything else without spoilers in it. But So the first maybe like 20 or 30 minutes of this movie, I was intrigued, but I was like, all right, this feels amateurish, not, not in a terrible way, just kind of like, is this acting going to suffice for the whole film? And honestly, after the first act was over, I didn't really feel that as much anymore. I thought everything was just pretty good in that regard. As far as the film goes as a whole, I actually really enjoyed the hell out of this. Uh, it's where it ends up going and how it all culminates and how it ends. I thought all of that was very, very strong. The first 30 minutes, you're not, you, you feel like this is just an, a gener another generic um, genre film. And I was, but, but around the 30 minute mark, something happened and I was like, oh, whoa. Okay, this is taking a turn. Hmm, where's this going? And I was really, really intrigued. And from there, I just kept getting more and more into it, more and more emotionally invested in this character of Sarah and what is happening to her. And it kept me guessing for a while. Um, and when the end happened, um, which actually kind of reminded me of a movie called The Invitation, uh, for anyone who has seen this one and has seen that one will understand what I'm, what I'm talking about, at least I think so. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, as I said, it's very, very difficult to talk about this film without spoilers. And I think that spoilers would hurt the film. Um, but I do think that anyone who's checking it out should at least get to the turning point of the film. And if after about 10, 15 minutes after that, you're still not involved, if you're still kind of out of it, be like done with it. Cause I don't think this film's going to sell you past that, you know, but anyone who's kind of struggling with the first 15, 20 minutes, I, I definitely implore you to stay with it until that turn and then make your decision from there. Um, but at the end of this film, I, I really was like, yeah, like there was a few moments in the film where I was like, all right, I hope, you know, I hope this happens. And then it kind of did. And I was like, yes, yes. Like, all right, cool. And there were some real gut-wrenching moments. There were some moments that I was just like, fuck, man, this is a tough situation. Um, I, as I said, I can't compare it to anything. I don't want to even say the subgenre of horror that it is because I find that to be spoilery. Um, so I apologize for the vagueness of that, but I'm somebody who just thinks that going in blind, uh, pretty much everything is the best way to go. But, you know, yeah, I was going to compare it to something and then I'm like, no, because that, yeah, no. Um, overall, though, I, if you trust my opinion and you like um, more thrillers, then it, I, w I definitely think it falls into the horror genre, but it's much more of a thriller. Um, I never felt bored. So, uh, but yeah, I, I, I thought all the performances were adequate they served their purpose for the film there's nothing fantastic here in the acting department but everything at the end of the day when i was done with the film i was like yeah they all served their purpose they all they all you know the main girl who plays sarah she's good she's good in it she's not fantastic she's just good she's as i said adequate this guy made a film he had a story to tell the everybody involved did their job good enough 
to make a film that I really enjoyed at the end at the end of it. So, you know, my hats off to everybody involved. This is this is a good effort, especially for a freshman freshman director. So, yeah, I, I definitely recommend it. It's currently streaming on VOD. I think it's like four bucks. All right, let me know.